Hello, welcome to Patrice's Projects. Today we it is the day after Christmas and we are going to transplant some broccoli right here that I had grown in my garden room. Unfortunately, I haven't been doing videos of my what I'm doing in my garden room. I just was having a really rough Christmas, first one without my mom. So, um, anyway, I'm going to take off in a few days and these need to be watered every day. So, even if I put my lights on timers, the broccoli is not going to get watered. I also have a couple Brussels sprouts that we'll probably be putting in too. I don't have much space though, and behind me, my son is uh, preparing the soil. And so he already pre dug this several days ago. I put some compost on there. Christmas came, and it just so it just kind of sat. And like I said, we have to take off in three days, so we need to get this stuff done. The temperatures have been pretty agreeable unfortunately today is a very sunny day and for the last four days it's been perfect overcast weather for transplants but here we are so I'll show you what uh, where we're planting it and how we do it so right here near the fence that shadows everything all morning um, we're going to put in as many as we can I've got 12 in the little um, pack that I just showed you and then four more broccoli and two Brussels sprouts so what I'm thinking is I'm going to stagger them to give ultimate space uh, for them to grow. The closer they are, the smaller the broccoli crown, but I, I've never been able to do it well anyway. And here's another little patch we prepared. And then I'm going to go back there behind the trellis and put a little bit more compost and get that going too. So those are the locations I'm putting them. So right now Ian is leveling it out so that when the drip line is on there, it's going to... Um, water it evenly instead of all the water going down into the valleys or dips in the soil. Uh, we're, we do have a pretty good slope here so regardless of that we're going to do the best we can to try and get the water to all the plants. So the reason I'm doing this in December as opposed to in early spring, I've done early spring before and because we live in California, we go from winter right into summer. We have a few spring days here and there spotted in. So I figured they're cold weather crops. We hardly ever get freezing temps. So I'm going to see how it does for us during the winter months. And then I'm hoping for a harvest in the spring. So previously, um, I did like you do other plants. And I had the soil nice and loose and planted the, my... Uh, actually, I usually started with seeds. I think I did seedlings once. And every time it does not do real well. And so I started watching a lot of videos and I found out that they like compressed soil. Um, I've even seen people like pu push them down with their foot. So I'm going to gently as I can without destroying my tray. Get these out. And we're going to plant them all the way up to the seed leaves, the, the first leaves they get when they sprout. Um, actually, a couple of these have kind of dead-looking seed leaves, so we might even go past that because they're, they are pretty leggy, which is when they get a long stem and get all floppy like you see these ones. So, after he gets that put in, maybe you could go a little low on the next ones. Mm -hmm. Like dig the hole way down in there like that. Quite a bit deeper than it looks like it needs. Mm -hmm. And you gently put it in, uh oh, this one has the broken leaf. That one's been like this for a while. Going in and out of the garden room. So I've been hardening these off outside for the last week, and so the last couple of days they've just stayed outside the whole entire time. So packing them pretty tight. So I'm gonna go ahead and stand up because I'm hurting. And this one happens to have two in it just because they were so close when I separated these into this tray. Uh, I couldn't get those two apart. I think a little deeper, just in the very center. Oh, it's not dug. It'll appreciate that hard soil. <laughs> okay, so we're going to go ahead and finish out this row and I'll show you what it looks like when we're done. Okay, we are done. Unfortunately, the shadows, so you can't really see it very well. 
but we have most of them over here all the way to the little fence and here's the sidewalk here's I, this is out on the side of my house and people really enjoy watching me grow things so it's pleasant I get more uh, I get to know my neighbors better this way and here's where this the two Brussels sprouts are right here and then the last three broccoli are right there and then my jalapeno that's still producing can you see the red peppers on there right there and my strawberries, some of them are still producing. I still have carrots. Uh, the reason I didn't plant in my garden beds is I'm having some issues with roots, and hopefully I do a video on that. With this bed, my son and I had to dig all the way down to the bottom, and this is a 16-inch deep bed. We had to dig all the way to the bottom, scrape the natural soil, and cut roots. Um, I'm trying to figure out exactly what we're going to do to stop that from happening. It's either from that privet tree, which is the most likely, or it's from these birch right over here. But I've never heard of birch being intrusive like that. And uh, back there against the wall, I have some... That's one of the problems with growing out in your front yard. Back there against the wall is some Salanova I did a video on previously. Oh. I've done a few cuts on them and they are delicious. The last cut was um, a little over a week ago on this one here. And I believe this one here, uh, the tender green I think it's called, grows back much better. I may have cut this one because that's a second cut, a little too short. This one is what it looked like just before I cut it. Actually, it was a touch bigger than that. And then here's the other tender green. All four of these were cut um, about six, five or six weeks, weeks ago. This one's never been cut. I take the bottom leaves off to use. But I'm trying to grow that one and get it to bolt and get some seed. Same with this one over here. And it looks like it's just going to keep growing beautiful salad but there's another little curly cue growing right here because they get this rose looking thing going on I'm hoping it's getting ready to bolt and uh, this one has had a first cut as well as that and that had a first cut before uh, and this little one down here um, it's delicious it, I mean it's tender it's green and it keeps super well so I'm hoping to be able to get lots of seed to share that always happens when I'm filming. I go off on a tangent. So anyway, thank you for joining me here in the garden. I do appreciate it. If you haven't yet subscribed, go ahead and do that now. And then click the bell so you get notifications of my upcoming videos. I'd appreciate that. I'll see you next time.